Hey, we're going to talk about some Hearthstone cards. Whizbang's Workshop, March 19th. Yeah, I had to remember the date. It's late. Don't worry about it. But we're going to talk about all the Shaman cards that were uh, revealed today. And admittedly, I have not played a lot of Shaman in the last two expansions, but Shutter Walk is kind of back. And uh, maybe I will start playing Shaman again. So let's go through. Uh, first up, six mana, five, five, Shutter Block. It's a miniaturized keyword, obviously, and it's Battle Cry. Your next Battle Cry triggers three times, but can't damage the enemy hero. So let's look at the miniaturized. Of course, looks cute. I like the little mini ones as well as the, the regular Shutter Walk. And I did like Shutter Walk um, when this came out. I know some people would be like, I hate it, I hate it, but I loved it. I thought it was super awesome. Um, it wasn't as busted as some cards are busted now. And this, to me, seems a little scary. Um, your next battle cry triggers three times. Um, I like the fact that they're already limiting. Um, like they did with Shattered Reflections, they realized that they should have removed the whole Titan synergy um, and got rid of that finally. But I like that there's a limit on this because... Listen, we know these cards can be busted and can do crazy, bonkers, insane things. And I'm hoping this will not be one of them. And it looks like they're they're doing right. But this is this is saying um, in the questions here. And listen, if you don't know about Hearthbone, you need to be reading um, everything that Hearthbone has to do. Imbic is putting together some stuff. The team is putting together some stuff. And I love these little questions and answers because I look at this and say, okay, well, how does the can't damage work on the battle cry? And they put some answers in here. Um, if the next banner battle cry deals damage, it can hit the enemy hero, but the damage will be set to zero. And they give you the source of where that was set. So I like how they're doing this. Um, example, flame juggler. Missiles can hit the enemy hero, but their damage is reduced to zero. So it'll be interesting to see what actually will work. I saw, I flipped through and I saw a couple of these cards, and I think they'll, there is some options there. I saw someone um, in the gameplay video or whatnot uh, be able to uh, grab three of the snapshots from Fizzle. So we'll see. This looks very interesting. Interested in playing this one. Uh, next up. Hagatha the Fabled. Hagatha was also awesome. Um, callback in the day. Five mana, four, four. Battle cry. Draw two spells that cost five or more. Transform them into slimes that cast the spell. So let's look at the slime. That looks really cool. I don't know what it is. It looks like a whole bunch of toys, actually. Um, yeah, and it's slime. Battle cry, cast another card. So what it'll do is, it, like it says, uh, it'll draw the two spells that'll cost five or more, but transform them into slimes that cast the spells. So not only do you have something on board, but you'll also be able to cast those spells. Um, I'm wondering if those... Okay, so it says transform them. So you don't get to keep the spell and have that that minion as well. And then look at this. Here is another awesome uh, signature card. And I have not seen one signature card that I'm like, okay, well, it is what it is. I want every single one of these. And I feel like this is the first expansion that I've said that so far for everything. I'd be shocked if there was a, uh, a signature card that I did not want. Um, this one looks cool as well. It's a good throwback, good art. I'm excited to see how this one plays. Uh, next up, seven mana, three, seven elemental, shining sentinel. Um, it's a taunt. It has elusive and the battle cry is summon a copy of this. So there you go for it to have those battle cries three times. Um, this would be cool. Um, I just don't know if that would work because uh, Shutter Block is six mana, but we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. I like this card. It looks cool. Um, I see Shining. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what the, the, the art is about, but Shining looks like there's gems in there, so that's probably why it's Shining. Um, this, is, this is cool art. This set is really cool in terms of the art. Um, let's see. Six mana Nature Spell. Once upon a time, summon a random three-cost beast, dragon, elemental, and murloc. And so if this is summoned, this means they go directly on the board. And um, the stats here, just the distribution of the stats. So the overall stats for the summoned minions are 11 attack, 11.1 attack, and 13.5 health. So that means the average for everything on the board after you draw this um, will be a around that. And that's a lot of health and a lot of attack 
for six mana. It should be interesting. And especially if there's any synergy, you know, depending on what you put in the deck, it should be interesting to see. Um, oh, wait. So it says summon. Okay. So it says summon. You don't have to put these in the board. Uh, you don't have to put these in your deck. This is going to be awesome. Wow. Um, yeah. And the art is wicked as well. Next up. Seven mana arcane spell. Wish upon a star. Give a plus two, plus three to all minions in hand, deck, and battlefield. I like these cards. The cards that'll do something to everything that you own, um, I'm just a big fan of. And uh, to learn more here, this is the first shaman only arcane spell. So that's a little interesting little tidbit. The art is amazing, but I, I love these that just, you know, make changes to everything in the deck hand and battlefield i'm i'm very interested in seeing this card and if i'm playing shaman i would probably be building some sort of synergy with these uh with this card absolutely uh next up <laughs> the art is just wow uh four mana fire spell baking soda volcano has anybody ever put together a baking soda volcano i probably did 35 40 years ago anyway life steal deal 10 damage randomly split among all minions and the overload is one okay so i love the art i love the cost i do not like um having that much life steal regardless if it doesn't overload um that's a lot that's huge that's busted okay listen team five knows what they're doing we'll see how this card plays out uh next up location fairy tale forest three mana and it has two charges draw a battle cry minion it costs one less that's pretty cool i like um i like the artwork in this there's there's not there's not one piece of artwork that i'm not super stoked about seeing be very interesting to see also how this uh one has the golden animation uh next up Another elemental, four mana, four, four, sand art elemental. And it's got miniature eyes, so the battle cry is give your hero plus one attack and wind fury this turn. So imagine being able to throw that out four times. Yeah. Imagine being able to use this and do this with the shutter block buff. That's pretty good, being able to do that much damage. This will be interesting. Okay, next up. Three mana shadow spell, incredible value. Uh, discover a four cost minion, set its attack and health to seven. Uh, depending on which ones you get, this could be a game changing um, card that's played. So um, I'm very stoked to see these cards and the art, of course, is amazing. I'm, I'm going to talk about the art. The art is freaking amazing, you know. Uh, next up, one mana nature spell, pop up book, deal two damage and summon two. Zero one frogs with taunt. And of course, here is the frog. And that is awesome looking frog. I know we've seen it before, but I just like playing these cards that have been around for forever. But this is cool as well. Deal two damage and summon two. Zero one frogs with taunt. And listen, it's, it's a taunt on the board, so you got to mess around with it. There's a lot of options for you to mess around and, you know, be able to destroy um, those two zero one taunts. But it's just a, a nuisance card. Um, this is a cool nuisance card. It's a, it's a low cost, you know, playing this right away is pretty good. You know, whatever small minion they have on board and then you just putting something on your board. So I think it's strong and I think it's good for the value. I could be wrong. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not really into playing Shaman recently, but with these cards, um, shown, I'm very interested in seeing how Shaman plays. I still have to go through the, um, the neutral cards. I haven't done that all yet, so I'm sure there's other synergies out there. Um, I'll start going through and remembering all of these cards as I'm talking about the neutrals. And don't forget, I'm going to mention it every time until we have a winner. March 11th, I'm picking a winner for the giveaway contest. So I'll leave a link for that video. Like and subscribe, leave a comment, and get in the, the chance to win a bundle uh, for WizBank's workshop that's going to be here on the 19th. I will see you guys soon, and have fun.